Right now we are in Des Moines, Iowa. Everybody's talking, everybody's getting ready to, you know, talk with each other and um, convince undecided caucus goers to come over to their camp, to their candidate's camp. Whatever happens tonight, we will see um, at most six candidates become viable and right now there are 11 candidates competing for the nomination so there may be some candidates uh, people that come here supporting certain candidates that won't be viable by the end of the night and so that's where it will really get interesting things are going a little bit differently this time around so I wanted to fill everybody in before we get started for the evening This time around, we are filling out preference cards, which I will be handing out to you as I count the folks in the room. So with the preference cards, you are going to write down who your preferred candidate is, and you will sign the card. You will have a preference captain who will collect your cards. They will only be collecting the cards if it turns out that you are in a viable group. If you are in a non-viable group, then you will be able to realign. Anyone who is in a viable group at the end of the first alignment will not be able to realign. So that is a change from 2016. I see that a lot of people are afraid. We are such a divided nation and I've never seen anything like this before and I'm trying not to worry about it. I think we will prevail. We've been through worse. This country's been through a lot worse. I think that it's possible that the caucus system is doomed because the turnout tends to be very low because it's one specific night. Um, my prediction that I talked to you earlier about was that we'll probably see one more round of Iowa being first in the nation in 2024, but I think it'll be embattled and it'll go down. cards, you know, where you put your first your ballot, you, you, and then if you're per, then you stay permanent after the first ballot, you don't get a wander around, because, because it's, it went a lot faster. We went through our caucus a lot faster this time. If you heard there was been some technological glitch in transmitting data from one place to the next, I can tell you right now, if it was a broadband issue, is citing some um, discrepancies in their reporting processes and already some campaigns have um, disparaged or at least criticized the Iowa caucus process.